headed towards the gym now. It's like the best time to go because Monica and Estelle are sleeping. And they're barely even awake when I get back from the gym. <clears throat> and I'm a morning person, obviously. So right now I'm eating a piece of Ezekiel bread. Um, and this is basically my fuel for the gym. Um, I don't really eat a full heavy meal. Um, I only eat a third of it. And then I want to come home and I'll make myself the, the three eggs, egg whites with spinach that you saw me do yesterday. Uh, but this is my usual time when I go to the, go to the gym. It's uh, six o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm going a little bit early because I'm in a part of this challenge where you have to do 30 burpees and 50 sit-ups for 30 days straight. I believe I'm a day behind at the moment, so I have to go do it before class and then do this today's after class. There's my gym, results training gym. Awesome gym, very good coaches. All the people who are there are very awesome, motivated, who work out. Go religiously six days a week. Stopped working out. 497 calories. Nice. All right, time to weigh myself. So at the gym, weigh myself. Moment of truth. I gained a pound or two. I weighed out at 146.6 on Saturday. Today's Wednesday, I gained like two pounds. I wasn't eating healthy this past week. I'm um, not sticking to my plan, so. It's a given. I can feel it when I work out that I'm not eating healthy. I'll lose it all by Saturday. All right, so headed towards um, California IVF at the moment uh, to do the baseline ultrasound. Well, I'm currently on my lunch break from work and um, it's burying myself into work and my alarm went off to say, hey, you got an appointment. And the nerves started to kick in a little bit and I'm still trying to focus and just stay positive but once you get that news once you see that cyst on the screen it's whatever you tried to control beforehand you can't control anymore you just all let loose um, and the last two times um, kind of broke down crying um, in the car um, I'm trying to tell myself it's okay if you break down and cry, but I've already been through it twice, so it might be stronger. Um, but um, we'll see if there is a cyst. I, it's just it's that same feeling that you get, you know? Um, but I'm meeting Monica. Monica is actually going to go to work after she meets me for my appointment. And uh, since I'm spending my lunch break um, with this appointment, obviously I'm gonna go back to work after, after this. Baseline scan day. Everything's clear. Let's see. We are hoping. We hope it's all clear because they talked to us and said that um, if this cycle doesn't work, we will probably have to move to IVF. I'm still congested. And there's nothing I can do about it but let it pass. And I have to go to work after this. That's your turn. Sure, it's going to cover our IVF after this. Yeah. So we have to figure out how many transfers. She said she thought it was three retrievals, so three whole cycles. So we'll see. Hopefully it's clear. Yeah. What happened? We're clear. See? I was about to cry when he <laughs> said that we were clear and everything was good to go. Good. I was so relieved. You were just being paranoid. I was being so, well, I can't be paranoid. I, I know. Have a lot of pain I know. On the inside. We just got cramps. I know. Okay. Put your pants on. Okay. I'm clear. I'm so clear. Yes. And so the next, um, the next ultrasound would be on the 11th at 10:30. See if everything's clear. I'm gonna take the letrozole the same time as last. Uh, same thing as last time, which is the what? 10. 10 tablets. 10 tonight. tablets. Tonight I will take it right before bed. I gave you two follicles last. Time. Two good follicles, <laughs> just two follicles, two good follicles. Oh, I'm on, I'm walking on like good. clouds right now. You don't understand, <laughs> but we're clear. Yep. 
Okay, now back to work. Yes. <laughs> All love right, you. love you. Have fun at work. You too. So I'm home now. I just picked up my prescription of letrozole um, um, at the pharmacy. Tonight I'll be taking all 10 tablets because it may cause dizziness. Um, definitely don't want to go through that during the day so I will take it right before I go to bed. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Uh, thank you again for everyone who has commented, posted, messaged us um, with the support. Um, I'm really glad that it is clear for this cycle for us to move on. Um, we'll see what this cycle brings. I already know there's a lot of emotion going on. I'm going to take these letrozole pills and then feel bloated and feel all the extra um, side effects. But that's what I have to go through um, to see if we get pregnant. I'm hoping like the vlogs, um, I'm not going to make them too long. I know Monica's really been in them. She has tomorrow off, so I'll give her the the, the camera to vlog with. Uh, you're probably tired of seeing just me, um, but she works more than I do, and our schedules are pretty different, but uh, I'll give her some camera time. Hey, Storm. You ready to close up the vlog? Say hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Team 2 Moms, I'm so excited that we are continuing another cycle and just jumping into it. Alright, bye guys!